I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important test question on limits. The question here is, evaluate limit y approaches 0, x plus y times secant x plus y minus x secant x divided by y. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's try to simplify this expression. We are given limit y approaches 0. Let's apply the distributive property here. Multiplying by x, we get x secant x plus y plus y times secant x plus y minus x secant x, everything divided by y. Now, you can combine these two terms. So we could write this as limit y approaches 0. So x is common. So x, we have secant x plus y minus secant x plus y secant x plus y. Well, let's separate them into two different terms. Now that's a common denominator and limit is for everything, correct? So that is how you would kind of write it. Now we could cancel this y. Now in this case, let's write secant as reciprocal of cosine. So we get limit y approaches 0, x times 1 over cos x plus y. Now, uh, this is in smaller brackets, okay, minus 1 over cos x. Let me write y also here. So, x over y I am writing for both of them. And here we have no need for this bracket, okay. We'll write limit plus limit y approaches 0 for secant x plus y. So I hope this step is clear. So at this stage we can take the common denominator. So we get limit y approaches 0 x over y and here we have term cos x plus y times cos x cross multiply. So we get cos x minus cos of x plus y and this limit y approaches 0 will be plus secant x if I substitute y as 0. Okay. Now here we have difference of cos. So we could apply the formula which is cos alpha minus cos beta equals to minus 2 sine alpha plus beta by 2 times sine alpha minus beta by 2, right? So we'll convert this into sine terms. Let's take it to the next page and then do the needful. So let me rewrite the expression which was equal to limit y approaches 0 x over y times cos of x minus cos of x plus y divided by cos of x plus y times cos x uh, plus secant x, right? That was the expression. Now we are going to apply the formula which is cos alpha minus cos beta equals to minus 2 sine alpha plus beta by 2 times sine alpha minus beta by 2. Correct. So that is the compound angle formula to convert difference into product. So we get here limit y approaches 0, x over y. So that becomes minus 2 times sine of, when you add them, you get 2x 
plus y divided by 2 and when you subtract you get minus sine minus y by 2 right so x x cancel over cos x times cos x plus y plus secant x now this lot these terms are independent of y kind of we could rearrange this write this as limit y approaches 0 now minus of sine minus x is equals to negative so what we are going to use now is that sine minus theta is basically minus sine theta correct so that means these two signs will become positive right so we could write this as uh, let me write like this sine of x plus y by 2 okay I want to write this to under this portion right so we have y here already so I'm writing x here over cos of x times cos of x plus y here we have sine of y by 2 that negative has been taken care of divided by this y over 2 do you see that y over 2 plus secant x right so now let's apply the limit so when you apply it on this side you get we, we, we can rewrite this as okay so we get limit y approaches 0 on x sine of x plus y by 2 over cos x times cos of x plus y times limit y approaches 0 for sine y by 2 over y by 2 is it okay plus secant x you see that now the limit of this term is 1 and here if I substitute y equals to 0 I get x times sine x over this is cos x that is also cos x this is 1 plus secant x so that gives you the result x sine x over cos x is tan x and 1 over cos x is secant x plus secant x so the limit of this function is x tan x secant x plus secant x so this question really involves a lot of trigonometry so you brush up that trigonometry and then especially the formula to convert from difference to product okay but i hope overall it gives you a good idea about how to solve such difficult questions feel free to write your comments and share your views i hope you'll understand and appreciate it thanks for watching and all the best